John here guys and today we're talking about the drought the drought of the Cadix Vista now for those of you not in the know and have been paying attention there is a lack of stock at any of the shops across online these things are completely gone from everywhere and I'm going to talk about why I think that's a problem so you get nothing you lose Good day, sir. And I don't really know if there is a clear solution to it. Now, this is actually my last unopened Vista. No, it's not for sale for any price. Well, maybe any price. But uh, I just, you know, we knew a drought was probably coming and we could see it on the horizon. And the reason why this is happening is because somehow Cadix wooed DJI into becoming the partner for generating these video transmitter systems. Now, if you're using the digital DJI FPV system that everyone seems to be switching over to, this is the most popular option. And there's really only three options. There is the DJI Air unit. There is the Cadex Vista. Those both actually use the same camera. And then there is this white one. Here's my bag of empties uh, or, <laughs> or some of them. This white one is the Cadex Nebula, which is a terrible, terrible product. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. It's just garbage. So this is the only viable option I've been flying since 2016. And I've never seen a time period where literally every build relied on a single component. And this is actually three components. It's a camera, a video transmitter, and an antenna. They package it all together for 150 bucks and there is being there's a shift that's happening all of the bind and fly manufacturers are realizing that anybody that's coming into fpv only wants to fly this system so they are going from having maybe 20 to 30 percent of their options on the market use this to maybe 70 or 80 percent of their options on the market use this so they are buying up massive amounts of these. So now everybody is competing for the same volume of these units and the manufacturing capacity simply cannot keep up. And the reason why that's kind of a problem is we've never had it like this where everybody needed the same piece of hardware. So even though FPV is not huge, you know, we're adding people all the time. This system is really showing the biggest growth of new people entering the market. And they're all starting with this. Um, a new pilots are, there's no reason why anybody should go straight to analog. You should go straight to digital. And now here's my last build I put with the Vista units, the Catalyst Machine Wear Shocker prototype. And now you can't get any. So the bind of flies that are coming out, they're actually, they're actually starting to sell the bind of flies without a video system, just a frame and an ESC and flight controller and motors wired up so that you can provide your own if, as if everybody had a stash of these, nobody has them. The bind of fly companies can't get them. The shops can't get them. I'm going to put a list of the top 10 shops that I know that are waiting on stock. So you can check those periodically if you're waiting on those for your builds. But what do we do, guys? Uh, Runcam tried to make a camera, the Runcam 4, Racer 4, that was compatible with the Vista system. And Cadix is really trying to block them and saying that it's, it's, it's fake, it's counterfeit. They're going to block the functionality. Fox here just posted today that they have a new digital compatible uh, model coming out. Does that digital mean compatible with DJI? Either way, we're short on these units, but we need more interest in the market. DJI, your product is actually growing. I know that this was kind of an experiment for you, but your product is taking hold. It is becoming successful. Racers are flying it. New pilots are flying it. Freestyles are pilot flying it. Even Mr. Steel is starting to adopt this, who was a longtime hater. And he really makes it clear in his latest uh, stream on Instagram that analog is becoming like people that like vinyl. So it has sort of a hipster, vintagey feel. You know, there's something to it, the classicness of it. And I won't dispute that. I think he's absolutely right. But the technology, 
and everything else about the digital systems are superior. And so what do we do? Because Caddx does not have the manufacturing capacity to keep up with the demand to be able to supply the people that are building their own builds, to be able to supply the shops, to be able to supply the Bonifly companies, Diatone, iFlight, GetRC. All of these guys are buying these things up probably 5,000 units at a time. The shops can't even get them. So what are we to do? We need more entrance into the market. So please, DJI, allow Runcam and Fox here to get into this market too. Let's leverage some of their manufacturing capacity. Or if you're willing to dedicate more of your own manufacturing capacity, I heard through the grapevine that maybe there is an air unit V2 coming out. And I don't know, that might just be a, a rumor. I don't know if there's a new goggle coming out, so don't even ask in the comments. Nobody knows, but uh, we need more of these. This seems to happen every couple months, but this is the most complete drought that I've seen. There's none on Get FPV. There's none on Race Day Quads. There's none on Heli Nation. There's none on Airblade. There's none on Newbie Drone. There's none on Banggood. The list goes on and on and on. There's none on Amazon. There's none on Adorama. The electronic shops, nobody has them. So what are you supposed to do? Just like keep transplanting it from one build to the next? Uh, if you're lucky enough to find a bind and fly that even has one in it, you might buy that just to be able to yank the Vista out. I've seen people do that. Uh, so we're in for some hard times, guys. So what do you think in the comments? What is your idea that try to get some more manufacturing capacity dedicated to this? Because now we're in the market shift where the bind and fly companies are starting to adopt this heavily the majority of their new products are all requiring this one piece this one skew and so how do we ensure that we're not waiting three months every time we want to do a new build to get one thanks guys Tell my girl, you I'll be gone till November. I'll be gone till November.